Hi, this is Susan Ingram and I'm head coach of Master South Texas and we're here today to learn how to start swimming with a stretch board. So as you can see I was fortunate enough to be able to anchor my board elevated off the surface of the water on vents. Um, you'd prefer that so you can stay out of your way of your kick later. When you're putting your belt on, put it around your waist, but have it a little bit of a gap. If it's too tight, it's going to impact your breathing and the movement of your torso later. If it's too loose, it's going to hang off your hips and it's going to feel like it's dragging you down. All right, no more complicated than that. And we're going to just simply push off and start swimming. Alright, so the first thing you're going to notice is this was a lot of fun. The second thing you're going to notice is this was really hard to do. And that's because the constant resistance of the cord is putting onto your stroke. So you want to make sure that you back off a little bit so you keep, I feel like this is a comfortable pace that you can hold for about five minutes or so. So let's try that again. Okay, now as you get correction for your stroke itself, make sure that your feet are remaining at the surface of the water and you have good alignment on the surface. An easy way to make that correction is pressing down on your chest to bring your hips up. The correction is not done with your head because you can see I'm moving my head, it doesn't impact my body at all. The chest goes lower and it will bring the hips up. Let's make that correction here. So you can see my feet came right up. For some of you, you still might have some difficulty with that. And you can start off using a buoy. So you can still kick having the buoy between your legs and that'll bring your hips up. 